I use my elbow to jab him in his rib. My Mac rib. His McDonald's product drops onto the carpet as he stares down in agony. At least distracted. Oh, whoa! I whip out a desert eagle and blow his brains out! Where from? <laughs> Welcome back to Doki Doki Cliché Club. Last time, now we're in the Natsuki route and uh, see, uh, things are getting a little okay so far and uh, weird. <laughs> we're, just, we're just gonna leave it at that. So, you guys know the drill. It's Doki Doki time. Uh, dude? Yeah? Why do you have a body pillow laying, laying on the couch? Well, I forgot you were coming over today, so I kinda left it out. Hope she doesn't notice the stains. What stains? What stains? Gross! You really need to clean up after yourself, Finn. This place is disgusting. Well, if you give me some time to clean it, the pillow would be a little more presentable. You're a pig. I'm sorry. Hope you didn't expect me to sleep on the couch. No, it's fine. You can take my bed. You can share if we what? We can share if you wanted to. No. Figured. You can sleep with your girlfriend down here. And your room better not be dirtier than this living room. I don't think it is. Oh, Glob. What have I left out upstairs? Oh, uh, let's see. There's... Lots of manga, but I guess she wouldn't be disappointed by that. Well, nothing else can do. Might as well accept my punishment. Here's the deal. You clean up this disgusting house and I make us some food. Yes, ma'am. That's more like it. Now off you go. <laughs> okay. I frantically toss my body pillowcase in the laundry and run upstairs to clean the rest of my room and hide whatever unsavory things may be strewn about. Well, gotta hide them dojins, cause of course, who knows if Sayori might steal one of them, I, again, for obvious reasons. This looks pretty good. Thanks, Natsuki. It would've been better if you had more food in your kitchen. Yeah, I guess. Would probably be good to buy something other than chips more often. The two of us eat silence in, <laughs> eat in silence, other than not to keep grumbling about the many issues of my house. We clean up and place our dishes in the sink. I'm gonna hit the haze, and I'm pretty drained from not being at home, you know. Yeah, I get it. 55th door on the left. I guess you're upstairs. Okay, wait, 55th? Yeah, I have a lot of doors. <laughs> 55th? Um... 55th. Oh, I get it. Okay then, I guess I'll start my journey. Natsuki heads towards the stairs. Thank you, by the way. This means a lot to me. No problem, I only exist to help people with their struggles. Good night. With that, I turn around and flick off the light, plopping down on the couch. I pull my body, bill my body pillow into a tight embrace. Now, to get some much needed sleep. I awake to the sound of sizzling. Hmm? What could be sizzling? Did I leave the stove on? The sound of humming fills the room. Oh yeah. Morning, Natsuki. Ah! Quit sneaking up on me like that. Sorry, sorry. Anyways, how'd you sleep? Fine. But does a boy really need that much? <laughs> Oh, oh, I really knew, I knew we should have hit those. I flush profusely. Quick, change the subject. Uh, uh, what you making? Eggs and bacon, just something simple. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know I had either of those. Oh, thank goodness, thank goodness, thank goodness. We are not going to talk about those dojins. You didn't. I had to walk all the way to town to get them. Hope you didn't. Hope you didn't mind. I spent your money on groceries. Eh, it's fine as long as I get some food, because you know what they say, food is good. 
Did someone mention food? Oh, oh, Sayori! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Of course, of course, she's the chowder. She cannot escape the chowder. Oh, Jeebus. <laughs> Sorry about that. Well, oh, she just dropped. Or fell. Why is Natsuki here? She lives here now? Huh? But why? I don't know. She just asked. Yeah, kind of felt like it, I guess. Natsuki sways a little while observing the floor. So, food? Yeah, Natsuki's making eggs and bacon, I guess. Ooh, I'll help. No. Why? Because of that one time you almost burned my house down cooking. Finn, that was 10 years ago. And you, all, and you bring it up almost every day. Do I? Yeah, not the first time I've heard you mention it. Uh... Well, I guess you can help. The three of us then finished cooking, as surprisingly nothing burns to the ground. The worst that happened was me mixing up salt and sugar. It happens a lot, surprisingly. Huh? Why was that last scene change so jarring? Well, because the rest of it isn't interesting, and I can't be f to come up with a good bridge. Time for a time skip. <laughs> you know what? Just go King Crimson through that, I suppose. And just like that, the weekend flies by. Guess I'll have to wake Natsuki up. I, cl I climb up the stairs and swing open to I swing open the door to my old room. Natsu, ah! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Natsuki roundhouse, roundhouse kicks me in the chest before slamming the door shut. Well, that was a little uncon uncalled for. What are you doing, perv? I I'm sorry, I was just waking you up for school. I've been up for an hour. I even made you breakfast. Oh, sorry. Just learn how to knock next time. Oh, yeah, yeah, got it. Guess I'll just wait for you. Duh. You're lucky, you're lucky I didn't buy that self-defense claymore. Sayori was trying to pitch to me. Self-defense claymore. Um, I guess Sayori was a, um, a free-to-play uh, offer of, oh, <laughs> after all. <laughs> and yes, well, I've been playing, playing Genshin. Hold on, the what? <laughs> claymore. Oh, I would have thought of uh, of um, uh, Noel, Razor, Beto, y you know. Say, where's Natsuki? I where's Natsuki? Where's Sayori? Doesn't she normally walk with you? Eh, doesn't matter. I'm sure her depression doesn't exist anymore. Her what? Doesn't exist anymore. It's fine. Oh, okay. The two of us proceed to walk it walk to school in silence. You already seen the ski. You already seen the scene. Click skip if you don't feel like replaying it. Okay. Oh yep, already seen this. Um. <laughs> of course. Fuck off. Whoa. What the? <laughs> um. I think I may have clicked too fast. Oops. <laughs> And I, uh, um, I clicked too fast and the game crashed. Oh boy. <laughs> that was, um, I guess the, um, I guess the mod was, uh, was, can't, well, let's just say the mod can't comprehend my, uh, my fast clicks. Okay, here we go. Um, I reopened the game, skipped, uh, the entirety of, of course, the same scenes that we've seen in Sayori's route, and then now we're back home. And uh, yeah, I didn't, and then and then I just clicked normally. So uh, yeah, <laughs> so that way the the game won't crash. Man, what a day! I'll say. So, you thinking what I'm thinking? Uh, our Fey girls. Of course. What else would I be thinking of? Totally not Netflix and chill. Thank you very much. 
Exactly. The two of us hike up, up the stairs to what it's now Natsuki's room. Upon entering, she walks triumphantly over to her parfait girl's box and slides out the volume we left on. Volume number... 1468! What? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that might be a, um, a long box set, I suppose. Wow, that's a lot. Almost like the writers couldn't think of anything more original for us to do or bond through. Except for baking, of course, but we've covered that uh, one plenty already. Probably. Shaking that thought, I refocus my attention on Natsuki. She pats my old bed, beckoning me over. I oblige and climb into the bed. She opens the manga and we begin to read. After a few minutes, I feel a bit more weight slump onto me. Natsuki fell on fell asleep on top of me. Oh no, what the wacky dilemma. Should I get up and risk her up waking her up from her sleep or should I suffer in her warm embrace? Before that, let me um, may, let me save that just for safety's measures. Uh yeah, I think I'm going to stay in bed. A little while won't hurt. Yeah. I awaken to the sun shining through the window. Groggily, I notice that, unlike usual, I am not alone. Natsuki? Good morning. She's not mad at me? Score! I live to see another day. So, shall we get up? Can we just stay like this? Only for a little bit longer. Baka. Alright. The two of us lay in our bed for a couple of hours, despite it being a Tuesday. School doesn't matter for the plot anymore, so we could just use the excuse of time skips or something. Eventually, Nozaki releases her grip on me and hops out of bed. Alright, breakfast time. Oh no, more cooking scenes. <laughs> Thankfully, Nozaki runs downstairs without forcing me to help, which means I can get to sleep in. Shortly after her departure, I decide to join her downstairs. Well, 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 who, look who finally showed up. Perfect timing, I just finished breakfast. Epic. Natsuki slides the eggs and bacon onto two plates. Here you go, eat up. Thanks, I appreciate it. The, the, you don't have to thank me or anything. Well, I want to. Alright, time for another heart to heart or something. To be honest, this house is much more alive. When you're around. It's been some of the best three days of my life with you here, Natsuki. You truly make me happy. Because I... Here goes nothing. I love you. Oh, whoa, well, oh. Um, you know what? Let's just say I goes raw or loves you. <laughs> because, yeah, I, I'm, I, I know you're, uh, you're raw's girl, uh, Natsuki. Even though he says that, um, um, the Doki switch places, but, uh, I'm pretty sure he she I'm pretty sure he loves all of the Dokis, but for Natsuki, I know, I know, I know it's Igos Rar's best girl for uh, for him, so huh. huh. She seems stunned like a deer in the headlights. I uh What? <laughs> it's just a, it's so small and or tiny. It says I love you too. What was that? I love you too, okay? Well, that was one angry confession. I heard you the first time. Dick. Oh, I think. Oh, oh, I think I think I may have felt that, even though it's from a video game. Uh, uh, I think she just kicked Finn Jr. too hard. Uh, she kicks me in the information area. <laughs> Was that really necessary? <laughs> oh, 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 that scared me, but doing that. Oh, I felt that. <laughs> oh, that scared me, and um, that scared me, and I felt that. 
Oh my dear glob, Natsuki. Why? Well, yeah, he totally deserved it. But it derailed my plans of kissing you. Oh, are we supposed to do that? Uh, I guess? Great. And we then kiss or something. It's pretty cool. <laughs> so, should we like go out or something? Sure, why not? All right, let's hit the road. Okay. Ah, restaurant, my favorite place to take dates to. Natsuki and I scan through our menus. Yo, Finn, are you sure you can afford all this? Don't worry about it. My wallet is definitely going to feel this one. But I can worry about that later. Sure, go ahead, it's fine. I could just go down to the caves and mine some more diamonds and gold and iron and stuff, so there's nothing to worry about. And emeralds. I have more distracting things to focus on. Eventually, a waiter pops up and takes our orders. After the waiter leaves, we wait. Then we eat for the fifth, like the fifth time this week. Thanks for taking me out, Finn. My pleasure. Can I, uh... Can I show you something? Uh... Oh, this line. Oh, this line. Oh, my glob. Looks like the memories are starting flooding back. Hmm? Alright. Here goes nothing. Natsuki lifts up her shirt to reveal dozens of bruises. It would sure be cool if we could actually see them. Huh? Natsuki, what happened? Are you okay? Oh yeah, um, probably they're, you know, lazy or I don't know to make a new sprite of Natsuki showing her bruises, but eh, whatever, we'll just go with the flow. I fell. Makes sense. My dad hit me. Who the fuck hits their daughter? He used to be normal until my mom died. Then he went downhill. He lost a job and, and he started hitting me. So that's why I had to get out, Finn. Natsuki, don't worry, you're safe with me. I still love him, even if he isn't the best. Natsuki, he sounds like a pretty awful person. Yeah, but he's still my dad. Someone who lays a hand on you doesn't deserve you. Now, you wanna go to bed and relax? He, yeah. All right. <laughs> just brushed it off and just sleep off to bed. Well, how did I get here? Eh. You're already helping Natsuki, so focus, so focus on everyone else should be fine. Alright. Good luck. Don't cut yourself. You're welcome. Don't be sad. You know, I'd be a lot less sad if you invested in my business endeavors. Sorry, I'm not interested in buying any newses anytime soon. Mini, Fine, I'll buy one instead. Yay! Thanks, Monica! So, that should be about everyone, right? <laughs> I'd buy one too! Hey Nat, ready to walk home? Nat? Do you not want to be called that? Um, I guess it's fine. Great! Let's, let's go! What about me? You don't exist in the story anymore! Oh no! But of course, you're always welcome to uh, to walk home with me, Cinnamon Bun, because I love you. Oh, okay. Poor Sayori. Oh, I'm sorry I had to do this, okay? This, this is Natsuki's road, okay? I'm sorry, but don't you worry. I'll come back for you another. So, <laughs> another time, rather. I don't know. So Nat, I've been a meaning to ask. Nat? Ah, help me, Finn. Whoa! <laughs> Natsuki just kidnapped Natsuki and she spazzed Natsuki! Natsuki reaches out in a, a desperate attempt to reach me. Her hand ends up nowhere close to mine. 
In shock, I still stand. I stand still as the two grew smaller and smaller in my view. <laughs> Eventually, I snap into action and run after them. <laughs> I just, I can't, I just can't, can't laugh. I can stop laughing after seeing Natsuki spazzing out as she got kidnapped. That's so funny. <laughs> I finally see the man turn into a house and slam the door shut behind him. Shit, that's probably her dad she was talking about the other day. No other choice, I dart up the driveway and swing open the door. You must be the person Natsuki ran off with. Um, let me save that there, I guess. You must, you should really mind your own damn business. Like, dang, let me beat my child in peace. <laughs> no, no. No. I can't really let, just let you do that. You're sick. And what are you going to do about it? Slice and dice you with my sword? I need to think carefully about this. This could be a matter of life and death. So, <laughs> right choice, wrong choice. Of course, go to the right. Time to beat this bastard into a pulp. I shift my into my best attack stance, mimicking that one guy from that one movie. Nautiki's father dashes at me. He takes a swing at me but misses completely. Sensing the opportunity, I use my elbow to jab him in his rib. My Mac Riff. His McDonald's product drops onto the carpet as he stares down in agony. At least distracted. Oh, whoa! I whip out a desert eagle and blow his brains out! Where from? Who knows? Wonder if the police will be mad at me. <laughs> Probably not. Finn. If <laughs> not to he wraps me in a warm embrace. You saved me. Thank you. I'd do anything to keep you safe. Now, how do you say we go home and become stuck in an eternal loop of reading Parfait Girls and baking cupcakes? Heck yeah. Okay. Okay, <laughs> that's the ending of that one. All right. Let's uh let's check out the uh the the bad uh, the, the wrong choice next. Okay, let's check out the wrong choice. Alright, I've got it. I pull out a five pound bag of flour and a copy of Parfait Girls. Where from? I don't know. But that's besides the point. Now I can save Natsuki from her awful abusive father with forced symbolism. I chuck the bag of flour as hard as I can. It sinks to the floor a foot, a a foot and a half away from me. Maybe this book can help me. Let's see. I flip over to a random page. Maybe I can find wisdom in this thing. Two households both alike. Wait, what? Uh, two households both alike in dignity in Fair Verona, where we lay our scene. From ancient grudge to meaningly, where the civil blood is the you know, foes. What? <laughs> I'm pretty sure Dadsuki just um, bitch slapped me. What did that say? Um, from ancient grudge, break it to new mutiny, where civil blood makes civil hands unclean. From forth the fatal loins of these two foes, a pair of star-crossed lovers take the... <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> Dumb butt. Is that it? <laughs> okay. Try to use the um the parfait girls manga didn't work. Not effective. Not effective. Oh man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just. <laughs> oh, that was so good. It's so funny. Likewise, again, that's VA comedy for ya. <laughs> so um. That's it for the for the Nasuki route, but don't you guys worry, there will always be another episode covering the Yuri and Monica route. So um 
Now we're down to two girls, and we're already finished with Sayori Natsuki. So if you haven't seen those ones, um, uh, will be right here in the card above. So yeah, um, <laughs> so anywho, if you enjoy what you're watching and like what you're seeing, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe if you haven't already. It'll help me a huge bunch in making more content like this. And click on the bell notification to be notified. And if you want to play this mod for yourself, as always, link in the description below. And with that being said, thank you guys all so much for watching. Finn the Dark Knight signing off, and I'll see you guys next time. And as always, stay awesome and have fun, fellow knights and adventurers.